Hey, it's North Carolina Prepper. Uh, continuing my fun series, I'm going to make a, um, a fire piston. Now, why would someone do this when they have access to lighters and fire steel and all that? Well, the answer is simple. Because I can, and I want to. And it pleases me to do so. <laughs> okay, what we're going to need is a, a 6 inch copper stub out, which is kind of like a pre made piston almost. This is 8 inch, so I'm going to have to cut it down. We're going to need a half inch dowel, and it's a half inch stub out. You're going to need a type of a handle on it. You, you really don't need a handle, but I want a handle on mine. Uh, I'm going to use this to cut it down, a pipe cutter. You could use um, hacksaw or anything. It's about six inches. I'm going to make mine exactly, but still. And you're going to need a half inch o ring. Um, I'll look up the diameter when we're done here. It's like a half inch internal and out external. I don't know. I'll look it up. We're done. But that's basically it. We're going to do it. I'm going to cut this dowel level with it. I'll put an o ring about a quarter inch from the end. I'm going to dig out the end and for the fire tender. The nice thing about this is when it goes into the stub out here, it only goes down so far. Right there. And you'll see that it doesn't go all the way. And it leaves us our air chamber at the end. So let me go ahead and cut this down to six inches. And let's see how that works. And I'll be right back once I cut it down the pipe cutter. Okay, I got this on here. It's set at two inches as you can see. So basically these are real simple. You just tighten and twist. Twist and twist and twist. Tighten a little bit and twist and twist and twist. Okay, so that cut off. I'll put a little piece of sandpaper on there to to dull that edge and I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see that's six inches. About there we go. Maybe a little bit shorter. Oh well. Close enough. Yeah, five and three quarters. Close enough. So I guess that wasn't eight inches like I thought. Oh well. Now I'm going to cut this down and I'll be right back with that. Okay, kind of made my uh, cut here. I got a little lazy. If I can focus on that. Yeah, whatever. Got a little lazy and used a pipe cutter on it. And it made my, uh, looks like it almost made an o ring indent there. So, as you can see, it goes all the way in. It's flush. So let me see if we can actually do that. And I'll tighten it up just before the blade here. And I'll see if I can actually get it a little in more indented for me. And do the o-ring thing all in one pop. That'd be neat. Sorry. No, looks like I'm going to have to do it my old way. So... Let me go ahead and cut the o-ring slot into there. I may actually use this to cut both sides of it. We'll see. But I'll be right back. Okay, what we're going to need is 3 8 uh, internal diameter and 9 16 external diameter. So, wherever the heck that's at. There we go. 8 one ten. So, these are the ones we need right here. We'll strip those out. We'll start testing it. We're going to see if we can get it. We just want it snug in there. We may have to redo that piece. We'll see. Yeah, I'll probably have to dig that out more. Yeah, that one. Alright, let me dig that out some more and I'll be right back. Okay, I got that on. Uh, it's very snug. I broke the first piece and had to redo it over. That's it. It fits in there very snug. So before I lubricate this up, I'm going to go ahead and drill down in here with the screw, tap it, and then uh, cut the head off. Because the uh, screw I wanted, the handle I wanted didn't fit. Or didn't have a, uh, a wood screw in it. So it's going to look like this, basically. 
or actually when we're done it's going to look like this. So let me go ahead and drill that out and put the screw in there and then cut the head off so I can show the handle on it and I'll be right back. Okay, I got this done now. So I'm just going to screw that on. I put the screw in and clip the end. That's tight. Now I'm going to dig out this end with my knife. Or my whatever exact knife. And this is going to be our timber chamber. So let me do that and then we'll assemble, we'll lube it up and assemble it. I'll be right back. Okay, actually, Vaseline's ideal, but I have some hand lotion here because that's what I have on hand. So I'll put a little bit of this on there. Definitely not ideal, but it will work. Yeah, let's get your hands. So, let me do this, and we'll do the char cloth test tomorrow, but that's what we got. So, I'll put this in. Come on, get in. Eh, that could probably whittle down a little more, but there we go. Basically, that's it. So, that's it. You can probably use a better seal. So, that's the basis of a fire piston right there. Tighten that up. And it needs a little bit better seal. So, let me actually go get some Vaseline and try that because this stuff is kind of water based and didn't really work. So, I'll be right back. Okay, found some. Stuck a little piece of toilet paper in the end to test it. And get this in. And we're gonna hit it. Oh, didn't catch. Let's try it again. Ready? And go. There, can you see that? That went out. Dang it. Well, this is obviously a skill set. And in there, and go. I'm out again. Anyway, that's that's how it works. I'm gonna have to do this again with some char cloths because this toilet paper ain't staying lit. There you go. Let me see if I can get it working right here and actually get a fire going. I got the fire piston here. Uh, I got the fire cloth I made. Let's go ahead and give that a try, shall we? Sorry. Yeah, camera. Put that in just like that. Go ahead and push it in. And then just And there you go. There you go. Come on. That went out. Let me do it again. Let me do it again on camera. <laughs> there it is. Can't see that. Dang it. Well, trust me, it's there. There it goes. So, it's there. So, there you go. That's how you make a fire piston. Um, like I said, I did this just because I wanted to. Not because I had to. Um, when I do my hike, I'm going to carry a lighter. Uh, there you go. This lighter, I'll carry a lighter with me. I'll also carry a couple lighters because this is way lighter than this. This is pretty heavy. That's probably, I don't know, five ounces versus whatever, you know, so. Anyway, that's how you make a fire piston for fun. And some people use them in the woods. I would probably just use a friction fire method myself, but there you go. Okay, uh, let's start kind of pepper out. Please rate and subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.